Do you find your gameplay laggy, or you have problems with shaky aim, or you don't know how to set in game settings like pros? Don't worry, you're at right place. PUBG Mobile has added so many new settings and features that you may not be aware of in last few updates. If you can adjust these settings properly, they can greatly improve your gameplay. I will share with you some of the best setting tips as a pro player myself in this video. These settings will fix your shaky aim when controlling recoil. First, enable the left fire button if you're a claw player. You can't rotate the camera when using it, but the default right fire button can rotate the camera, which causes shakiness in spraying. Also, stop overlapping these two buttons like this. The same thing will happen with these two camera rotation settings. If you are controlling scope in and the peak buttons with your right thumb, enable them. Otherwise, disable them, choose release for bolt action rifle if you're playing on thumb, this allows you to do quick scoping once you master it, however it's better to keep it on tap for claw players. Both scope settings and peak settings depend on your control layout, and always enable the peak function. Correct advanced settings can make your gameplay smoother, and your teammates will appreciate you more. You can mark enemies quicker with the universal marker turned on, it's way much easier to mark from universal marker instead of the this basic marker. Someone has been here. Headshot sound is enabled, because it can give you the idea of the enemy's HP, and will give you the satisfaction and confidence, while pushing, like you can feel it when you take down enemies with headshots in close range. Separate jump and climb. This ensures that you can do jump shots when you are right behind the wall or windows, and avoid climbing over accidentally. Don't merge crouch and prone. It will only make your movements slower. Enable quick throw. This makes you switch between different throwables fast, without overlapping with other buttons. Tap to mark location feature doesn't give me the accurate readings when parachuting. I'd rather open and zoom in my map to mark where I'm landing, so I turn it off. Enable FPP dynamic holding to have a wider field of view. I use 89 sprint sensitivity, 86 TPP, and 103 FPP respectively. It totally depends on your personal use, however if you're facing problems with it, you can try mine. It suits perfect for most of the players. Aim assist is always off for me. However, I would recommend you guys enable it if you play classics only and for fun. But keeping it off is highly recommended if you want to improve your game. If you often miss enemies footstep sounds, choose classic mode and main screen audio markers. Turn auto mark hit locations on, so that your teammates can stop asking you where you're shooting at. Or whenever your team gives some damage to enemies, you will get a marker automatically without asking them, where are the enemies? Disable healing prompt to prevent selecting the wrong healing items during critical moments, it basically gives you the healing suggestion according to your HP, but keeping it off is the right choice. Enable continuously use of bandages, by this you don't have to tap over and over again while using bandages. I have horizontal swipe acceleration disabled, I suggest you if you're a full gyroscope player, disable it, but if you use your right thumb to move your aim, keep it enable. If you guys want to know more about this setting, let me know in the comment section and I will give you guys a detailed guide. Before moving further make sure you subscribe now, and like the video. Keep your map on hold, by this way you can open and close it, by simply holding it like this, it's way better and faster than the old method, by tapping and cross button. The next setting, show throwable trajectory line, keep it enable. If you want to improve your throwable and grenades to land perfect, it will give you this white line when you'll hold a throwable in your hand. 
giving you an idea where it will land before cooking. Reload interrupt method should be kept on fire interrupt. By this way you can simply cancel reload function by tapping on fire button. It will give you a upper hold over reload button interrupt. I disable aim features because I don't like it, but if your hip fire is so trashy, keep it enable and master it. Now these two settings are mostly important for low end devices users, if you're facing lag or FPS drops while fighting, make sure you turn highlighted movements and death replay off. Turning these two features off will 100% prevent lag. Don't trust me, try yourself. In graphics settings, smooth and maximum FPS your device can support is always the way to go. I use soft and colorful style mainly, to prevent eye strain and to spot enemies easily. You can copy the rest of my settings here. In audio settings, I switched from high SFX quality to ultra, which makes the car sound quieter. 100% master volume and 100% SFX if you find the volume is too high, lower your volume from the device you are playing on. The speaker volume should be turned down if you get matched up with some crazy loud teammates. And here's my auto pickup settings and here are the custom attachment settings. I chose white crosshair, because it feels good on red body hit effect. However red and black are some good options as well. And I can see it clearly in close range fight, the rest of the settings I leave unchanged. Like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. See you guys in my next pro tips video, till then take care.
Marked a location. 